Welcome to a really British quiz where we're going to see how much you know about Britain. Now, how does it work? Well, in this video, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions divided up into six rounds. Each round has a different topic. So, for example, one could be about British slang, another one could be a picture round about famous British celebrities. Now, before we get started, I want you to think do you want to do this quiz by yourself? That's cool. Or do you want to do it with a friend? See who knows more about Britain. Perhaps you're a teacher and you have a class of English students, you might want to do this quiz with them, and that's awesome if you do. So, that's why I've created some downloadable worksheets for anyone that wants to play along where you can write your answers. So, there are two question and answer sheets that you can download um, and you can print out, and maybe share them amongst your class or just with your friend. And then there's the answer sheet. Now, in this video, I'm not going to say any answers because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. So, if you want to get the answers, I'm sure you do. Then you have to download the PDF in the description below this video. It's completely free, okay? Totally free. Download it as much as you want, share it with as many people as you want. It's totally cool. So, what I suggest is you pause this video, download the PDFs, and then start the video again. All right, so whether you're playing solo, against a friend, or in a class, I'd love to know how you do, all right? So, at the end, put your score. In the comments below, all right? Say your name, where you're from, and what score you got. Be honest, I'm sure you will be. All right, guys, let's get going. <music> round one, this is the British trivia round. Question number one How many people live in the UK? How many people live in the UK? Question number two. What is the UK's second largest city by population? What is the UK's second largest city by population? Number three, what year were the most recent London Olympic Games held? What year were the most recent London Olympics held? Number four, what's the tallest building in the UK? What's the tallest building in the UK? Number five, What's the name of the British flag? What's the name of the British flag? Number six, what accent do local people speak in Newcastle? What accent do local people speak in Newcastle? Number seven, how many times have the England men's football team won the World Cup? How many times have the England men's football team won the World Cup? Number eight, What is the name of London's biggest airport? What is the name of London's biggest airport? Number nine, how many edges are there on a 20p coin? How many edges are there on a 20p coin? Number 10, what does the BBC stand for? What does the BBC stand for? Okay, that's the end of round one. Write down all your answers, and when you're ready, let's go to round two. Okay, round two is a picture round. I'm going to show you 10 very famous British celebrities, and I want you to identify all of them. Okay, I'm going to put the pictures up for 10 seconds, but you can pause it, take as long as you need. All right, are you ready? Let's see them. Okay, let's move on to round three. This is the British slang section. I'm going to read a sentence that has a British slang word or phrase. You need to identify what is the meaning of that phrase. Oh, and I'll be doing them in silly accents, just as a warning. Number one. Oh, it's all gone, Pete Tong. Oh, it's all gone, Pete Tong. Number two. I am a Ouija, just like Billy Connolly and David Tennant. I am a Ouija. Just like Billy Connolly and David Tennant. Number three. Do you want some scran before we go out? Do you want some scran before we go out? Number four. Mate, you were absolutely plastered last night. Mate, you were absolutely plastered last night. Number five. This is the best chicken in my ends, bro. I'm telling you. This is the best chicken in my ends, bro. I'm telling you. Number six. Well, Jack's got the hump with Charlie because she didn't send him a birthday text. Jack's got the hump with Charlie because she didn't give him a birthday text. Number seven. 
Uh, I'm planning to spend Christmas down under. I'm planning to spend Christmas down under. Number eight, Nicole is buzzing about her holiday in Ibiza. Nicole is buzzing about her holiday in Ibiza. Number nine, kids, we're having bangers and mash for dinner. Kids, we're having bangers and mash for dinner. Number 10, oh blimey, I've got now in fridge. Oh blimey, I've got now in fridge. All right, that was round three. Let's move on to round four. Guys, I want to take a quick moment to tell you about my brand new posters. They are called a really British map poster. They come in four colors and they are a perfect decoration for your wall. Whether it's your bedroom or maybe your classroom, it looks fantastic. They come in four different colors and the link is in the description below, okay? So check it out. They make for very good gifts, I must say. In round four, I'm gonna show you 10 clips of famous British TV shows or films. All you need to do is identify them. Good luck. Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. Okay, sorry. I'm Simon, by the way. Hi, Simon. Sorry about those two. It's all right, I've got a younger brother, so I'm used to it. Well, actually, he's eight, so he's a bit more mature-like, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Feisty one you are. What? Feisty one you are. Why are you talking like that? So you think I'm here to get your permission to shop food? You're here to get mine. What you ain't noticed, things have changed. You're not dealing with a mandem no more. Only a certain kind of woman wears a backless dress with a Beretta 70s strap to her thigh. One can never be too careful when handsome men in tuxedos carry walkthroughs. Learning to dance is so much fun and hard work, but also so rewarding. Really running out of time. <gasps> They're flat as a pancake. This is where people start to panic, and now I really understand it. I just want to do this because they do this on the show. It so doesn't work. It's so stupid. Okay. What's that? It's a cinnamon stick, sir. Actually, I really I can't wait. Oh, you won't regret it, sir. Want to bet? It is but the work of a moment. There we go. Almost finished. Almost finished? What else can that be? You're going to dip it in yogurt? God is a monarchist. Who could doubt it, my lady? Here they come now. They had 28% possession that's yep. the lowest in a Premier League game that they've actually managed to win mm -hmm. but I doubt they'll care that much nevertheless John despite the bad blood I'll have none of it on my carpet now for Grace's sake nothing will go wrong okay let's move on to round five this is the odd one out round I'm gonna give you four words or phrases and you have to decide which one is the odd one out so three of them will be linked in some way and one of them will be different, okay? So for example, if I said to you, banana, apple, orange, potato, well you know the potato is the odd one out because the other ones are fruits, yeah? Yeah, okay. All right, let's get to it. Number one, Chelsea, West Ham, Tottenham, and Liverpool. Chelsea, West Ham, Tottenham, and Liverpool. Number two, Harry Styles, Zayn Malik, Niall Horan and Liam Payne. Harry Styles, Zayn Malik, Niall Horan and Liam Payne. Number three, Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle, Balmoral Castle, St Paul's Cathedral. That's Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle, Balmoral Castle and St Paul's Cathedral. Number four, London, Manchester, Edinburgh, and Cardiff. London, Manchester, Edinburgh, Cardiff. And the last one, number five, Cornish Pasty, Haggis, Cullen Skink, and Deep Fried Mars Bar. Cornish Pasty, Haggis, Cullen Skink, and Deep Fried Mars Bar. Okay, the last round, round six. This is the UK versus US English section. I'm gonna give you five American English words and I want you to translate them into British English. Let's do this. Number one, sidewalk, sidewalk. Number two, diaper, 
diaper. Number three, faucet, faucet. Number four, bangs, bangs. And number five, arugula, arugula. Okay, that's the end of the quiz. How did you do? I'd love to know, all right? So let me know in the comments below. Tell me your name, where you're from, and the score you got. It's out of 50. Also, I want to remind you that my brand new book, A Really British Guide to English, is also available. If you love British English and you love British culture, this is the book for you. It's available in paperback and ebook. Again, the link is in the description below. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, this is Tom, the Chief Dreamer, saying goodbye.